Now a pass ahead for Kincaid. He'll try to slide it to Rock Truman. He couldn't get his stick on it. Truman, the former drum ever dragon. Now plays it back to Condor. Shot from the point. He scores! Oh, goodness. Blake Condor with the goal. And the Kodiaks with the early lead. 144 into this one. And it's 1-0 on Condor's fifth goal of the season. A shot from the left point goes over top the left shoulder of a screened Eric Ward. And into the net and the Kodiaks have the start they were looking for here as they score the first goal of the game again. Joining the rush. Here's Schoenfeld. A shot. Safe. Rebound by Daddario. A loose pocket. And it rolls underneath Ward. Now comes the front. They score! It's the captain who finally got to the loose puck. And Callum Gow scores his team leading 19th of the season. And the Kodiaks have a 2-0 lead. Goche and Schoenfeld, I'm guessing, will get assists on the goal by Callum Gow, is 19. And it's now 2 0 Kodiaks. Gets it neatly to Brisson. Now to Dean. He's on the end of a shift. He'll play it up ahead for Daddario. He's got it. Here's Tio Daddario. Puck taken away by Robinson. Daddario with it again. He'll play it back to the point. Goes off Nathan uh, Sullivan. Sticky tries to get to him. Comes in front. Daddario shot. They score! Well, it's either Nathan Sullivan or Daddario. Looks like Sullivan is coming to the bench first, so it might be his goal. I thought maybe Daddario had got to it as it was rolling by Eric Ward. But for now, it looks like it is Nathan Sullivan's goal. And that would be his second of the season, in fact. Dario should get an assist on it. And goodness, Kodiaks will open up a 3-0 lead here with just over 8 minutes to go in the opening period. Goes behind the net. Condor to Kincaid to Lorenz. And now a pass ahead could be a 2-on-1. Here's Condor with Horn. Here's Condor. Walks in. He shoots. He scores! Well, Blake Condor had help. In number 17, which is one of the hottest goal scorers the Kodiaks had, have, he said, no, nah, don't need it. I'll just shoot it. Condor's got two tonight, six on the season, and we're getting a goaltending change. Eric Ward is out, and the affiliate, Caden Toussaint, is in. And Eric Ward, who had been on fire coming into this one, is chased by the Kodiaks with 6.17 to go in the first period. Here's Hugh Haas with the puck on the near boards. He'll play it side of the net. Shot scores. take long. Miles Hillman with the goal and a rocket shot off the post by Wilcott. And the power play strikes for the Dragons and Hillman has his 23rd goal of the season to take over the team lead. And it's now 4-1. Gets it back again. Takes a shot towards the net. Deflects high in the air. Bounces to the far side there for Will Christian. He'll play it back to the point. Willick, another shot, scores. Well, that deflected off something. I'm not sure if it was a dragon in front or not. We'll uh, have to wait for the goal call. The shot from Willick came from the right point. It deflected off something. Not sure if it was a dragon or a Kodiak. And goes into the back of the net and, uh, no, don't go away just yet. I think Clayton Jardine is using his 30-second timeout here because his team is a bit under siege and the Dragons have got two back. 
And it's 4-2 uh, Kodiaks. The U-Haas on the near boards. At the side of the net, centering pass, shot. Big save! What a save by Logan Wilcott! As he dives across to Rob Griffin Ashamorose. On the season. But uh, this is a uh, big part of the game here right now. Ashamorose. He shoots, scores. A shot off the face-off win from the high slot and that beats Wilcott and the Dragons on the strength of a couple of power play goals here have got back to within one with 16.54 to go in the third period and for Asher Moreau's his 10th goal of the season in his 27th game and the Dragons have fought back now down 4 nothing after one they cut this lead to one Brisson, Brisson, a shot from the point. That goes wide. He was looking for the tip. There was none there. Now the Dragons with it. They'll flick it out the center. Knocked down. And now it comes. Here's Dietrich walks in. He scores! <laughs> a bouncing puck. As it is done all night. And that bounced the Dragons' way. And Dietrich will score his 15th of the season. And we're back to where we started some uh, 50 minutes ago. Even. But instead of 0 0, it's 4 4 with 10 06 left to go in this third period. Batting down the hatches, we got ourselves a hockey game. Goddess plays it up. There's a shot. That's blocked. Actually, it hit Brzozowski in front. Now comes in front. Now back to the point. Here's Willick. He shoots. Score. has been executed by the Drumheller Dragons. And they now lead it 5-4. Willick with the shot. Again, it deflected off something. I don't know what. And the Dragons have fought all the way back, and they have their first lead of the night, 5-4, with 4.46 to go in the period. Here he comes back. Four and a shot right on, and a save by Toussaint. They got the shot, but they didn't get it in. Everything to perfection except the goal. And the Dragons will win this one 5-4. Post-game show coming up from the Hometown Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey on New Country. 98-1 FM.